All right, welcome back guys for another instructional video. Uh, we're gonna talk about spoon fishing in the sound. Uh, when you spoon fish, well, almost always, some people use will just use a straight spoon, but if you're gonna be fishing with a flasher, which you should be, some people will fish randomly with no flasher, but we prefer to use a flasher. So you're gonna use a flasher and you're gonna tie it up and you're gonna hook it on the same end as the other flasher, the back bigger part. Uh, these two are already tied up, so we're gonna show how to tie up the third. Okay, so when we're talking about spoon fishing, we have three different types of spoons, size-wise. Well, there might be there might be four too, but this is like a micro spoon. This is a three incher, I think, maybe a four incher. I think it's a three incher. Uh, use that a lot for coho, humpies, stuff like that. Those four inch, you use them for coho also, kings, humpies. But the most common size for kings, which I'm sure the person watching this is going to be using it for, is the five inch. So the five inch is awesome. The five inch spoons we've cut a lot of fish on over the years. Uh, this is what it looks like when we tie it up. So we're gonna do the same length. Sometimes you do a little shorter. We're gonna do about three and a half flasher lengths. So one, two, three, about three and a half. And add a little bit extra for the knots. Just do a basic knot here on the end. Put your finger in the middle. We're gonna do like six or seven loops. Put it back through that hole, and then that's gonna make another hole. This line's not really be nice to me right now, but there you go. And then we're just gonna cinch that down. Perfect. And then you're gonna tie the end. You can tie it either to a ball bearing swivel and then clip it on, or you can tie it straight on there. So I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna have to cut it off, but. You're gonna do that exact same knot, and then you're essentially gonna have this, and then that's gonna to go to your uh, downrigging clip, and then that's gonna go up to your line. Uh, the other thing with these is a lot of the time, the hooks that come with them in the package are cheap, don't work very well. So we recommend taking them off. These all have new hooks on them that we actually use, but we recommend taking off the old hooks, putting new hooks on, and uh, that'll increase your guys' catch ratio. So get out there. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'd love to help you guys out and uh, get out there and do some fishing, catch some fish. Last thing is we, gotta, we always got to clip these tag lines off here. So just looks better. doesn't get seaweed and stuff. So get out and catch some fish. Good luck. See you on the water.